Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Cherica Brown and we're on episode four of Cherica Be Talking because I be talking. <laughs> and today's question is, what are your views on dating when women haven't fully found themselves yet? This particular question was brought to me after discussing my episode three video, how to remain a strong, confident black woman, I believe through dating, school and work life. So if you haven't viewed episode three yet, go ahead and view that video for me. But this particular young lady expressed that she's at a point where she understands how to balance these three, but she wanted to know my views on finding yourself because she don't think that anyone ever really teach women how to find yourself completely. But to answer this question straightforward, I don't believe that you should date until you find yourself. What I mean by this is don't underestimate the single season in your life, the time when you should be dating yourself first. People don't teach you to date yourself first. One of the most vital aspects of your life is learning to love yourself for you, flaws and all. Love you 100%. You'll discover that you are enough. You don't need someone else to complete you. Although everyone needs someone, you don't need someone just to bring happiness. Happiness is what you make it. Joy comes from the Lord. So if you determine what you like to do, what you enjoy, what activities that you just you can't have a blast doing by yourself and alone and just go and simply go and have something to eat by yourself, treat yourself to a dinner or something. You would know that you don't need someone all the time, every time. That single season is so important. It gives you a peace of mind. You learn yourself. You learn things about yourself that you never even thought about. I remember when I was back in high school and college, Sometimes I would literally just go to the movies by myself with no one. And like after I leave or something, if a dude texts me like, oh, hey, what are you up to? What are you getting to or whatever? I'm like, oh, I actually just went and saw the movie that came out today. I'm like, he'll be like, without me? I was just about to ask you if you wanted to go to the movies. And I'm like, I'm so used to going to the movie by myself that I don't think like, hey, this movie is coming out Friday. I know he probably want to go and see it too. He probably going to ask me to take me. It's like, I'm out of class at 12. So I'm like, I'll go and catch the movie at one. <laughs> and that shows independency like that you can stand alone. And sometimes that's honestly attractive. I didn't even know being me was being attractive to some people. So they'll be like, instead of me waiting until Friday to ask her about the movie that come out on Friday. I'm going to have to ask her Monday because I know she probably already done bought her ticket. So when you find yourself and you know things that you like to do and then you meet and run into somebody that enjoy the same thing you like to do, they'll basically plan stuff for you and you'll be thankful and grateful for that because you're like, wow, he's paying attention to things that he know that I'm doing on my own. And now he's bringing himself into the picture and trying to do those things with me or for me. So it just make everything make sense and it make everything move smoother. Now, we all know that one person that just keeps her man. So you like, dang, does she ever be single? Does she ever not have a man? Like, I leave. I just finished talking to a boy six months ago and I ain't found nobody else that I'm into yet. But she just broke up with her boyfriend yesterday and she got a new one now, today. Ain't even been 24 hours. <laughs> so, Sometimes you look at it like, dang, what am I doing wrong? But honestly, sometimes that's a reflection of somebody that didn't enjoy their single season and don't fully appreciate their alone time and don't understand the importance of that single season. And it results in a dependency. You need somebody else to function. You need someone else to give you that joy, which I said comes from the Lord. So don't underestimate your single season. Enjoy it. Decide exactly what you want to do within it and decide what activities you like to participate in and go and do those things. Now, it's just the, the single season is 
the best time to learn yourself. Like you don't have to sit down and just study and write things down and enforce things on yourself, but just be like, what, what do I really like to do? What do I like to do and enjoy to do for me and for myself? And it gives me a peace of mind. And I just feel like, oh, this takes some weight off my shoulder or this makes me happy or this makes me excited. Go and do those things in your single time. Now, it's really important as a young lady to become the best version of yourself so that you attract the best version of yourself. You don't wanna start dating when you are unsure of yourself and you don't think that you've fully found yourself because if you meet a man who sees that you are uncertain of yourself and you're unsure you haven't fully found yourself, he can very well take advantage of that. He will see that maybe you're not as confident. Maybe you just don't know. You're down to do whatever he wants to do. So he'll manipulate you and he can also make you even feel less confident. So maybe you once thought that you were attractive and you were fine and you was just doing your thing, but you weren't really fully confident because you haven't fully found yourself and embraced yourself and have that confidence level where no one can tell you nothing about yourself. So he kind of manipulate that in ways that you don't even see that he's manipulating you and having you thinking less than of yourself and that could completely destroy you. So you'll completely lose yourself because you wasn't confident and sure in finding yourself and things that you really enjoy doing. And now you ran into this devil that just completely destroy your life and make your life do a whole 180. Decide what you want out of life and decide what you can do to make those things happen and then just go and make it happen. Like perhaps you want to start eating better or you want to start working out you want to shed some weight or you want to gain some weight or you want to focus on doing your natural hair more or you want to get your nails done more you need to determine what are those things that you're trying to find in life what exactly are you questioning in your life and then start answering those questions about yourself and being 100 percent confident in your answering those questions and then once you do that and then you start building those things, the right person will start uh, to attract you. So if you're working out and you're reaching some a certain body goal, you'll start attracting men that are on those body goals level as opposed to when you weren't confident and you were sitting there just sad or miserable or depressed and what you were looking like and you attracting a person that's just like that, but he's appearing to be more confident and he's manipulating you to think less than yourself. So definitely go and find yourself and just determine. Now, let me see. I'm going to give you some suggestions I have for finding yourself. Of course, my number one is going to be read your Bible and get you like a devotional that you can read. What I recommend is Our Daily Bread. It's also an app. Basically, it just has the date for whatever day it is. And it tells you the word. You can listen to it three or four times. Sometimes I listen to it in the morning while walking my dog or brushing my teeth. I do it. It's the first thing I do when I get up in the morning. If I don't have time or I'm running behind and I have to go somewhere, I will play it on my speaker in the car. You can plug your phone or use the Bluetooth in your car so that you can play the app. It actually reads the word of the day for you. It takes little to no time. And it also helps you read the Bible within a year. So that's a definitely a good app, I would say, go and download. Um, now, I normally update my Instagram feed on my story with the word of the day and the daily bread every single morning. But I get my books from someone else, so I'm relying on someone else in order to post it. So sometimes I'm behind or I just don't have the books at all so I can't post it but I'm pretty consistent with it when I do have my books also educate yourself so find podcasts YouTube channels YouTube videos books mentors if you have any people you look up to around you that you really just love their energy or you love their lifestyle you just want to be a part of that don't be afraid to ask somebody can they mentor you Everybody needs a mentor. 
Um, also, if you ever thought about it or you ever wanted to or you ever consider it, go back to school. Nothing wrong with getting a degree in something that you're interested in, something that you want to do. Your single season, go after any and everything you want. Get your hair and nails done um, when you can. Decide which style and colors you like for yourself. So when you get your hair done, your nails done, you get waxed, you get glammed up, you just feel better about yourself. It's just a certain confidence that comes about finding yourself when you treat yourself. So treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself every now and then. Do things that you want to do. Um, for example, if you want to move to another city or state, the perfect time to do that is when you don't have any children, a husband, or any of those things to consider. So me personally, I'm not one of the few people that want to move out of my home city and go somewhere else because I've had friends that move to other cities and they all come back within two to three years or they all complaining or they all thought they want to go somewhere else, but they didn't, or they thought it would make them grow up, which some people, it really does help them grow because me personally, I'm really close to my family. So we're really tight and everything one do, all do, we all look out for each other. So sometimes we may need that extra boost to move to another city or state and be ripped of that community, I guess, so that you can go and fend for yourself I feel like I got that experience in college, even though I went to a college an hour and 30 minutes away. I just don't think I should move out of my city or state yet, but to each its own. So if you feel like you should move and you do want to experience whatever growth that may bring you, go ahead. I say completely, you should go for it. Why not? You only live once. Also, I think that was number four. So number five, I would say, Back to the body goals. If you have any body goals, um, there's so many YouTube videos that can give you a workout routine. There's Instagram pages. We have so much technology that helps us do things. Get out there and go for it. I know personally, I want to start doing more as far as swimming and everything. So I've been looking up swimming lessons. I love traveling. I love going on vacation. So I'm like, I learned how to swim in pre-K. It was like a requirement at my head start, but I don't feel confident when I swim. So I'm like, I need to start from the very beginning again and just learn how to swim. Because when I go on vacations, I want to do the activities that requires getting in the water. Decide what you would like to do as a hobby and or career and make a commitment to do something every single day that'll set you closer to your goal. What is it that you are completely good at? What is it that you just love to do or that you have some type of interest in and go ahead and start doing whatever it takes to create you a business or create you a career journey or career path. Maybe you want to go and get an internship. I know you are younger. So look into internships if you're in college just that you can do over the summer, over spring breaks, and just go for it, go for it. Anything that you think you want to do or you even, it's a thought in your head, if it's something positive, go ahead and just go for it. Now, the reason I say that you shouldn't date until you find yourself is because you're honestly never ready to be in a relationship until you're 100% like completely okay with being alone. This way, when you start dating, you're not operating out of loneliness or desperation, you know? You're not settling for just a warm body. And what I mean by that is you're not caught up in the idea of you're just gonna be alone forever because you're respecting yourself and you're dating yourself and you're finding yourself. It's so important to do that. You don't want the first man that comes your way. You're just like, oh, I finally got one and I wanna keep him no matter what. So no matter how he's treating you, you become blinded by those things and you already aren't confident in yourself and you're just accepting any behavior.
So you don't want to operate from that place in life. You want to operate from confidence. You want to operate from being 100% sure of yourself. So when you are sure of yourself and you're comfortable being alone, that's how you know you are ready to date. When you value yourself, it just shows. It shows in how you carry yourself and you attract the men on your level by focusing on and taking care of yourself because a man will notice that and he will respect that just off your conversation and your walk and your talk. Everything about you would just seem different from what he's used to. That's all I have for you today. Thank you again for tuning in to Cherica Be Talking. Go ahead and share this for me and just spread it around. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you again and we'll talk again because y'all know I be talking.